Hey guys, this is Hetu. Uh, welcome, welcome back to Etil Kiwi Labs. In this session, we will uh, try to understand the inner join in SQL, and uh, we will see uh, the two different uh, join condition within the inner join. One is the equi join, which basically has to mandatorily put the equal to condition, as name suggests. Equi join means equal to condition between. Uh, uh, between that matching columns right so for example department number of employee and department number of department number of department table has to have a equal to condition okay and then we will see the non equijoin so any any other condition other than equal to condition will be as a non equijoin for example less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to or even not equal to right so we will try to understand uh, you know uh, all those things in this session so guys first of all uh, i already have uh, prepared this this is a cross join okay so cross join as i have uh, cross product basically i will say or you can say cartesian product as well yeah so this is the output of this particular so there are six records here and there are four records here and uh, then mixed together we are having the six into four equal to 24 records right this we have already seen in the previous session how the cartesian product work right now we will try to run the <coughs> one second we will try to you know uh, use this particular cartesian product because what is equijoin guys equijoin uh, if you see that it is cross product plus equal to operator right equal operator condition eh? that is the equal condition right so this is called uh, equijoin all right so i think it's not very nicely visible but yes all right this is what it is mm, sorry I think I should have put it one second guys huh? all right guys so what is equijoin equijoin is basically this formula right so cross product plus equal to operator between that uh, you know the matching column right for example department number here and department number here right so we will try to see using this cross product so this is already a cross product that I have uh, you know made it and now we will try to run the equi join on this so now this is satisfied we have to satisfy this and then this is called the equi join now equal to operator so what is equal to operator guys we are actually trying to put the equal to operator between department number of employee and department number of uh, you know uh, department table all right so which all uh, which uh, which which are uh, them are equal then those are the only you know output of the equijoin okay so this two department number are same so i'm just making it you know uh, maybe i can put it green probably okay or maybe i can just highlight it for now all right let me highlight it so this is matching all right anything else matching here nothing else is matching here now again this is matching 20 and 20 okay and then where it is i think uh, we have we do not have any matching here also we have here also matching okay <coughs> all right guys and, uh, and 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 this is matching okay what else is matching let's see 40 30 40 we don't have 40 here do we have 50 nothing i think nothing else is matching right so we have only four records matching as part of our equijoin now we will try to run in sql and we will see is it true okay so let's try to go and uh, run this right so i have already guys i have already written one query i think this one so that we will not waste a time so what i have done is we have i have just selected all the columns okay from the employee table here until here okay employee table from employee i have said right one second yes until this this is the employee so employee number employee name um, uh, department number so in department number i have just renamed it you know i have put alias you know department number from emp so that we can distinguish because we have the same uh, you know column name department number in department and employee both the tables right 
and here I have taken the department number and I have renamed it as a department number from DEPT department okay and then department name I have taken so two columns from department table and three columns from employee table and then what I have done is sorry guys one second <laughs> alright and then I have put the from clause and this is the syntax guys okay so from EMP and then you have to put this inner join inner join is important because this clause you have to put then only you are able to do so that that's why I say we are going to write the ANSI standard in ANSI standard we have to write this keyword inner join and then you have to put the second table that is the department table okay because employee inner join department we have to put one table here and after that inner join and then other table so that is how these two tables are joined together okay and I have to put some condition right so here what I have to do is I have to put equal to condition because we are talking about equijoin okay so emp dot department number equal to dp dot department hope guys you are able to see you are able to understand what I have put emp dot and everywhere emp and wherever I am referring the department column I have to put the table name and then dot and then column name right it is because I just want to because we have the department number in both the tables and to distinguish that we have to put uh, this you know table name otherwise uh, oracle will confused right so that's the reason we have to put the employee means table name dot column name okay now now let's try to run it all right so you see this this is the output all right and so what is the output guys uh, we can see it here right so this particular department number from employee this is the this is the okay so you see that both the when we are putting the equi join into this department table department numbers in department and the employee table both of them are matching then only matching records only are getting displayed right that's we have seen uh, when we were trying to see it right so you see here 10 20 10 30 all right and this is the same output we are expecting here also right see 10 20 10 30 and the entire record here all right finance sales finance IT right hopefully this is the output let's see correct so this is the output so this is called equijoin because actually we want only those records which are matching between these two tables okay for example if you see here in this table which which of you know uh, departments if those those two departments are not matching those are actually drop dropped off so this is what the equijoin guys okay hope you understand this now when we talk about non equijoin so anything other than you know uh, equal to condition if we put anything that is called non equijoin okay so for example if i am going to put uh, less than condition so i want to put the less, less than condition between employee and department so if i say uh, okay let me just uh, all right now I want to do one thing I want to uh, put a condition the department numbers uh, which are not matching probably okay no not to put less than and all let's say not matching between these two so what how many will come now we have 24 records right 24 records and four were matching if I am putting I don't want to match I want to put non equijoin which means not equal to I, I want to put okay so one of them I will use it not equal to operator so everything which is not matching will be displayed okay this one this one this one everything in fact I think 20 records should be displayed out of 24 because 4 are matching right so let's try to see if it is working same query we can use guide we just have to change this operator okay so we can use like this or we can use also like this this is non equal to operator right we have got 20 records see guys and to verify it see this is the department number for employee from employee and this is the this is the department number department number from the department table so you see that none of them are matching right so you see 30 10 40 nothing is matching so all of them which are not matching is coming like this now if let's say I want all the uh, you know um, 
okay so i want to put a condition that if the department number is less in my lesser department number in my uh, n in my employee table let's say okay all of them which are having the less department less department number than department then all of them i want you see here 10 is displayed against that so this is always less against this these are always less again they these are always less so left hand side is always lesser which means the department number from the employee table is always lesser so this kind of conditions you can put you can also put greater than okay so this is greater than guys okay that you can see that here okay here everything is greater than this this particular column this particular uh, you know column in the department so this is how you know non equivalent so non equivalent is other operator than equal to are called the non equivalent okay i hope uh, this concept you are able to understand guys okay so this is what uh, the entirely you know some people will be saying that uh, somewhere if you read the definition some people uh, ask inner join as uh, equivalent also but that is not true guys okay so inner join essentially means that you know uh, equal to i mean equivalent plus non equivalent both of them so entire range of this uh, operator conditions will fall under inner join okay so hope uh, you are able to understand this uh, concept and this is very important i think from interview perspective also this, this is very important so you know uh, and the next i will try to you know cover i think next video i will try to uh, explain about the natural key uh, sorry not natural key natural join okay so natural join is uh, you know very similar to equivalent join but we will see what is you know uh, the difference between equivalent join and the and the natural join okay all right guys so hope you are enjoying this video and you are able to understand the concept and guys i will again say that please uh, you know practice all these things otherwise uh, uh, it will not be uh, very easy for you to understand okay if you practice it create two tables same tables create it whatever i have created here guys okay and then you just run it then you will be able to understand it okay and uh, if you have uh, still any doubts please uh, comment on this video i will be able to answer it okay okay so that's it from this video and i will see you soon uh, with the next video until then happy learning guys and uh, please uh, subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed and uh, share comment and share with your friends also so that they can also get benefit and until until then happy learning guys bye